Okay, so today we're talking about Google Maps and how to get set up with Google Maps. I've got a very basic page here with a map on it, and you can see I can drag it around. So this is a map that's up and running on a page. So I'm going to take you through how the code works on this, but after that, I want to talk about specifically how to get set up and started with Google and their platform. So starting out here in my page, I have a div inside the body. This div is going to hold my map. Now I've got the ID map on it. We'll zoom in a little bit. I've got the ID map on it, but it doesn't have to be that ID. It can be called anything at all. I just need to have some sort of block container that I'm going to use on the page to display the map. In my CSS for this area, I need to make sure that I'm giving it some dimensions. Because it has no content, it means it's going to collapse to have no height. So at the very least, I need to give it some height through the CSS. Without that, I'm not going to be able to see my map. So what I've done here is I've given it width and height of 80% of my screen size, and I've set my body to display flex, and I've centered it vertically and horizontally on my page. Okay, so that's the styling. That's the HTML. Uh, I've got my key to use for my API to call the map and load it. I've got that in a separate JavaScript file in my same folder. And here is all the script that I'm using. This is it. This is the whole script for this page. All right, there we go. So I have a variable called map, which I'm going to delete this empty line. There we go. Got a variable called map, which is globally accessible throughout all my scripts. I'm waiting for DOM content loaded, so my HTML and my CSS have loaded uh, all the stuff that's on this page. Then I'm going to add the Google script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until my web page is ready, and then I'm going to create the script that points to Google Maps. I'm going to load that, and then I'm going to wait for the load event on it to happen, and then build my map. So I'm creating here a script tag. I'm appending that to the head. Then I'm adding a load listener to the script. All of my code is going to go inside of here. So I create the script. I put it in the head. I add the load listener to the script. And then I set its source. And this is the URL. Make sure it is HTTPS. It will not work without that. Maps.googleapis.com. Maps API JS. And then the key. So this is the API key that you put inside of here. There is another parameter called callback that you can add on to here. This will call a function inside your page. If you want, you can load it that way. I prefer to do this. I prefer to build a script and listen for the loading of that script and then run my code after that. But you can use their callback method to do the same thing. All right, inside the load listener. So I know that the script is loaded. One command, this whole thing right here, just one command, new Google Maps dot map. You give it two parameters. The first one is what is the HTML element that you want to put the map inside of? And then the second one is an options object. So the rest of this is all just one object. I've got the center parameter. So these are the latitude and longitude coordinates for the center of the map where I want to put it. I've got a zoom level. This is a number between 1 and 17. At zoom of 1, you see the whole planet. At 17, you're looking at a building. And then it kind of goes anywhere in between. 5 will give you a continent. 10 will give you a city. 16, you're looking at a building. 17, you're really zoomed in on a building. So that's about the level of zoom. And then map type ID. Do I want to use road map? Do I want to use hybrid? Do I want to use satellite? There's a bunch of different map types. Okay, that's my script. And there it is running. That loads the map. And by default, it puts these controls. So I can toggle between the two different kinds of maps. This is functionality that's just built in. You get this with the script. My full screen button, my street view, zoom in, zoom out, and all the drag functionality. And zooming in and zooming out using my trackpad. So all that you get for free just built in. Now, getting set up, getting started, getting that API key. This has to do with the Google Cloud Platform. So we're looking at the Google Maps platform inside of the Google Cloud. If you search for googlecloud.com, Google Cloud Maps API, 
you will be able to get to this area. So I'm in here, I'm logged in with my account and looking at the Google Maps platform. If you want to look at the pricing in here, they've changed in the last year, they've changed the way that they work this. It used to be they would just say, you get so many free calls to this API every month. And then that was it. They've changed that method so that now they want you to set up account and set up the billing information. Once you've done that, then they give you sort of a, a financial credit. They're giving you $200 free each month. And depending on which API you're using, that credit will go a different distance. And they've got a little thing here you can use to figure out how long your credit is going to last depending on which API it is that you're going to use. So back here, dynamic map web loads, 28,000. So every month you could do 28,000. So a little over a thousand a day probably, or around a thousand a day you could do for free, which is basically what they had before. Okay, so that's the Maps platform page where you can find out information about the billing and pricing and so on. If I go into the console here, so this is what you should search for. Console, Google Cloud Console, Google Cloud uh, Maps Console, something like that. Um, you'll find this link. You'll be able to log in with your Google account. Once you're in here, we've got this navigation menu here on the side. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make this easier for you to see. There we go. So in the menu, there's the billing section. So in the billing section, this is where you would go to set up your billing, your payment method. This is where you give them credit card number, payment settings. You can set limitations on this. You can say, I want to set a budget. So once I reach a certain dollar amount every month, I want it to shut down automatically or just send me a notification to say, hey, you're reaching your limit. So you can do things like that. On the homepage itself, um, sorry, this is just the, the starting stuff, getting started, that's where I wanted to take you. Inside of getting started, there is a link right here. You can create an empty project. That's one way to get started. Once you have one project, you get this menu up at the top here. If I open that up, you can see I've got a few projects that I've created. I could create another new project if I wanted. Once you have your billing set up and you've got a project, then you're inside that project. Go over to the APIs and services. This is where you would click on this button up here for enabling APIs and services. You want to say, OK, I'm going to use Google Maps. I'm going to use the Places API. I'm going to use reverse geocoding, things like that. And then the credentials, this is where you go and you can create your API keys so I can create a brand new API key, click on this. Once you have some, you can edit them, go back and forth, and you can set up restrictions to say, these are the ways that this key is allowed to be used. Or for API restrictions, you can say, these are the specific APIs that this key can be used with. And that's it. That's all there is to this. So we've got the billing information, creating a project, and then going into APIs and services, and inside there, going to the credentials to create your API keys. Once you have those, you're good to go. You can write your code, make the map run. A couple last things, a couple places to go. If you're looking for that link, um, I will put all these links up in the description for the video so you can see them and use those links directly. Um, you can get the API key. This is inside the documentation, the guides for Google Maps. And there's also a reference here. So that was the guides page, that last one. This is the reference. This is where you can see all the different methods. So creating a new map. So get center, just as an example, I'm going to click on that one. It takes me down the page. And here it is. This is the maps get center method. Zoom in here the maps get center method, it returns a latitude longitude object. So this is an object inside of it. There's a lat property and a long property. There we go. The lat long class inside of there, there's a, uh, it's a, it's a point. It's a latitude and a longitude. So here's examples of what you can do. So you can,
call map set center and pass in a new Google Maps lat long with numbers or an object that has a lat and a long property in it. So reference, great, very well written. The guides are fantastic for getting you started. The API key, I will provide that link for you. And then the Google Cloud platform for managing your project and setting up your API keys. Okay, so I hope that's enough to get you started. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will make more videos in the future about Google Maps and the other things that you can do with them, but this should be enough to get you started. As always, thanks for watching.